good morning um i don't know why but i'm just really in the mood to upload a weekly vlogs lately i'm just really in the mood to be filming little bits of what i'm doing what we're doing as a family what we're getting up to and sharing it to you guys so excuse the window mark on the glasses um so last week we got to do the kids um picture wall in their bedroom wa wanting to do it for ages um and i planned it i'm pretty sure i bought the prints before we even decorated their bedroom so i'm really pleased now i feel like the bedroom is like finished just really happy with it um i won't show you now because the kids names and their faces are now back up on the drawers and stuff um so you'll have to check out last week's vlog which i will leave up the top here um if you want to see that finished because it looks stunning today i am tackling little mrs wardrobe so her wardrobe has forever till the end of time apparently just been full and overflowing um because we've had such fabulous donations we've been so lucky and obviously i know when you've got a girl you automatically end up with more clothes because clothing stores just sell more for girls let's be honest if you walk into sainsbury's if you walk into any clothing store the it sounds like little missus having a little bit of a hard time by the sounds of it they're with their dad by the way um yeah clothing stores just generally stock a lot more choice for girls and girls just end up with a lot more choice and girls are more likely to have bought more clothes for birthdays and christmas than boys in my opinion in our, in, our, in our experience so we've always had way too many clothes for little miss and it's always been an absolute godsend we've always had plenty of choice it's meant that we can re-gift and re-donate and re-charity clothes because her wardrobe is just fit to burst um so today i've just gone through sorted the washing out um, which I'll show you in a second and I've put away her clothes so that I'm starting with a full wardrobe and I'm not starting with loads of bits in the wash and this that and the other other than what's in the washing machine all of her clothes are away um, and then I've just taken out of her wardrobe which again you'll see in a minute anything that I know I don't want to keep either because it's I was keeping onto it for a little bit longer in case she could wear it for a certain occasion but now it's definitely too small and then I've taken out a couple of like sets that like we really like but that she's grown out of now but that we'll probably keep there's not many clothes that i think i want to keep that i'm going to put it in the loft for future babies but there are certain things like that was her outfit for her first birthday there's another like mini mouse set that her uncle bought for her so yeah i'm keeping those bits those are going to go back up the loft um and then we've got a ton of clothes in the spare room that have been sat on the spare room floor sorted but just didn't have enough need to put them in a wardrobe but i think i actually now have enough room to put them in so let's do this I really don't know where to put you. I really need a tripod, don't I? Um, there's certain things that I think I'm just going to put. If I really can't decide what to do with them, I think I'm just going to have to put them in the like redonate pile, re charity pile, and all that kind of stuff. Um, like things that are cute, but that like I just know she's not going to wear. Like I could keep them. And think oh there might be an excuse she'll need to wear red there might be something that she'll need that for but it's just not worth it because she just doesn't have the space um yeah so let's try and figure it out shall we and like it's all really cute but some of it's just not my style like for her and like i just wouldn't put her in some of this stuff um like that is so 90s cute how cute is that little dress um but I just because she's so fair i don't know how it would look i'll try her in it i'll hang it up and i'll try it in that one oh that's a nice colored cardigan like i literally legitimately sorted all of this out when it was donated to us a month ago if not more and then i've kept it folded in the bedroom in that transitional phase of there's definitely no point putting it in the loft in the vacuum seal bag it's going to go in her wardrobe soon but I just because she doesn't grow out of stuff quick enough i'm constantly in that phase of well that still fits we'll leave that in well that still fits we'll leave that in well that's almost that's technically in the size too small even though she fits in it and she's never worn that yet because she's had so much stuff like this chick is just so flipping lucky 
I don't want people to stop donating. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to say to people, stop giving us clothes because you know they'll take it literally and then we'll never have anything again. Like, that's two to three. It's going to absolutely bury her. Joggers. Can anyone tell me what Young Dimensions is? We get gifted tons and tons of clothes and they have the label Young Dimensions. And part of me thought, is that Primark? But all the Primark stuff seems to say Primark. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Fleecy PJs are not something I ever buy because we've got central heating and I just feel like it's a bit much. Um, so we never buy fleecy pyjamas, but we do get handed down some sometimes. And they are useful, I think, for like things like when you're going camping. Because um, obviously it doesn't really matter what time of year you go camping, it gets cold in the night. Um, not that I'm, I've already vowed, after the first time I've taken my kids camping, I've vowed not to take them again until at least three. And then all of this is two to three. Folded nicely, so I'm going to try and unfold as little as I can, just to check like what it is and what pile it needs to go in. As soon as the weather starts to warm up, I would just get rid of all of this for him, all the long sleeve tough stuff and all the like tunicky style stuff if he, if, you know, if he wore that kind of thing. Because I know that he'd grow out of it by the next season because she doesn't. Like some of these t-shirts from last year that were too big for her last year, um, all these things will probably still fit her this winter coming. And then I have this drawer. is full to the B-rim, literally of clothes for her to grow into, be that like unisex clothes from him that he doesn't fit in, pyjamas and stuff that she's had for Christmas that are too big, shoes that were too big, socks that I bought her for Christmas that are still massively too big, shoes that are still too big, clothes from him, like I say, that drawer's literally full and it's massive. Um, yeah, like swimming costumes, our wonderful cousins who donate so much to us do regular swimming lessons, so they're at swimming all the time, so they need us of swimwear, so we get donated swimwear constantly, but like, she just doesn't get through it, it's, it's, like I say, I don't understand that these are like third world problems and all that stuff, but, um, it's a little bit insane. Row, row, row your boats gently down the street. You went super fast, yes. like Grandad does. At the bottom of the stairs, he does put his shoes on at the bottom of the stairs, doesn't he? 